The wood mosaic was really born out of a series of demiurgic visions I experienced. At first, I had trouble processing these visions, but once they came into focus, I knew what I needed to do. I went to work on my easel, mapping out each piece by number. You see, you can't just have big muscles to create such an esoteric piece. You need to be a uh, psychologist. Say this is straight out of Zimbabwe. It reminds me almost like a Native American totem pole, but not with any facing or anything. But it's just beautiful. The woodworking. It's a beautiful piece. You look like something like a gibbity do, you know, from uh, Australia almost. But it's all together. It's like we should be. You know, we are part of one one planet, one piece of wood, different color, same the same entity. Well, the first thing that came to mind is what a magnificent. Sculpture. It should be put in a museum or something. Yeah. Now not, not in the shop to sell. Yeah. You know. I think that this is like, a, like a memorial for Nelson Mandela. Now it looks like a, you know modified Russian rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the girls I've loved before Would travel in and out my door I'm glad they came along I dedicated a song To all the girls I've loved before To all the girls I've loved before